Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is our weekly collage with our six prompts. But first, let's have our shout out to Shelly, Barbara, Folk Art Gal, Nancy, Christine, and Ricky. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, let's get into our bag and let's get us out some prompts. There's two. There's three, four. There's five, six. All righty. So we've got them now. Now let us see what they say. They're going to say silk flower or petal. And this one says butterfly. And this one says music paper. And this one is blue. This one is ink stamp, and this one is, goodness gracious, napkin. Okay, all right, well, let's get us a page. Here we are, here's our page. That sun's coming through. I'm going to see if I can fix that for us real quick. All right, you guys, so far I just brought a napkin over, and I brought some music paper and I'm thinking that maybe I would collage just a little bit of this music paper onto my page here and then I could put my napkin on the top so I'm going to get my Get this cut to where it's going to fit on there. That's going to fit on there nicely. And I'll get my brush and my school glue, which is Elmer's glue with water. And not much water. I don't like to use too much water with it. I don't want it too runny. I do need to get it opened up. <laughs> Here we go. There we are. Now I'm just going to brush it on just to get this laid on here there we go and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little glue on the edge so it will stay down a little better right here get some more underneath there we are it's gonna lay itself down so I'm just going to collage a little bit here. There, that's nice. I like that. That's good. Now how about if we put a little bit more how about if we put one maybe right like that. Let's try that. Let's give that a try. I'm actually just going to lay it right on top like this and see if I can, yeah, there's quite a bit of glue in there. It's coming right through. That'll be fine because I'm not, my idea is to put my napkin on the top of this. So I think I like that one right there. here and get this down and then I would like some in the middle and I can get it in the middle need a little piece in the middle how about that I think I like that so let's go ahead and Put the glue right on the paper itself and just lay this right on, right in the middle there. So it's going to be right in the middle of the, I'm going to shut it, I can get it to, okay. Now, let's get our, our napkin. And let's go ahead and open it up. 
and we're going to need to remove our layers. So I just like to scratch the side until I get them to come apart. I don't think that's two. That's just one. There's still another one. So I'm going to work on that. All right, you guys, now I need to decide if I'm going to lay the whole napkin down or just pieces of the napkin. That, I don't know. The napkin kind of starts again, so this sits this way and then it sits this way. So I think I'm going to need to kind of tear it and the correct section so that this sits the right way and I think I'm going to just put it right on there maybe I want it over here I don't know where I want it I really don't I think this needs to be torn though I don't think I need to have a straight edge and get this torn too. There we go. Now, yeah, I don't really like how that tore at all. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, let's go ahead and lay down some glue right on top of our music page and spread it out there we go and now let's lay down our napkin napkin's folded right here I need to Get that fold out. There, I think that finally. Now, let's see. Our, is our music paper going to come through? I'm hoping it does. Hoping it comes through. You can still see it. Okay, that's that's really very pretty, isn't it? All right, so now I think what I'd like to do is bring in some more of this napkin and let's put it. want any straight spots. I want them all to be torn. Maybe right, right like this. That's very, very pretty. I'm thinking I can go ahead and glue this on and then either cut or rip it off at the edge. So I've got to get this down a little better right here. Okay. Let's see how this works. Not bad. That's very pretty, right? Oh, I think so. I think that's really lovely. All right, so now we need to think about some butterflies. <clears throat> we have our blue, and we have our music, and we have our napkin. Now maybe some butterflies. What else do we have? An ink stamp. Silk flower. Okay, I need to get my silk flowers down. Hoping I have blue, or cream, or I'm pretty sure I have cream. Okay, let me 
get my flowers down and get some butterflies. This is looking very nice. Okay. All right, you guys, I have some flower petals right here. I have some blue bling that I thought would be nice in the middle of the flowers. And I have my butterflies here. Now, let's see. I was thinking we could go kind of wild and put something like this, something big. That's what I'm thinking might look really nice. I also have one like this. It would be kind of fun to use these great big ones. I also have some a big blue one like this. Oh, I do like that. I do. I think we should just live large and go ahead and put them put them in here and maybe put the flower over here or something. So let's go ahead and get our our glue once again and I thought I would be able to use this but maybe not. So let's go ahead and switch real quick to this glue right here and get it on here. I think I'd like to put that right there. And then how about this one? We still have to have a stamp, don't we, guys? We'll have to get a stamp in here somewhere. Alrighty. I do like that. I think that looks really pretty. And I have some flowers here. Brought in a couple of different colors. I didn't have blue, but that one has some holes in it. How about if we just do that? And let's go ahead and glue them down. This. Where are we going to put that stamp? Ooh, I have to think about that stamp. Stamp needs to go on there. I'm filling up with everything else. I don't even have the stamp on there yet. Ooh, could be a problem though. Okay, so let's put some glue in the center of each flower. And then we will get our bling. <clears throat> and we will put our bling in the center of each one. Oh, you guys, it's so cute. I'm really liking how this one's turning out. Oh, did I not put anything in the middle of there? I think I did and sucked it down or something. There. Nope. It's not going to cooperate. That one isn't. Alright, let's see here. I don't know that that one will cooperate. Sure it will. Alrighty. All right, you guys, I went ahead and I grabbed a stamp. Now, this one actually says garden. I thought, well, maybe we could just put that on there, maybe right here or something. I'm thinking I might have to just do it freehand without this little. I used to have a tiny little one. I'm going to look real quick for it. Okay, I have a tiny little piece of plexiglass that I think will help me get this. I'm going to use black ink. How about if we put it right down here? Let's see that. Let's 
garden. Well, it's kind of, you can read it. I didn't realize it was uh, shaped like that, the word. Okay, it's all right. And then let's use maybe a butterfly stamp, although I can see that I need to wipe this off. It's going to get on something. Maybe right there. And maybe right here. They're pretty cute. And I like those. Those are cute. Now the one thing we have not done is list our prompts and I have no idea where on earth I could list my prompts on this one. But I do think, now you know we do have this piece right here that I guess I just need to tear off. Just tear it. Yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, that'll be just fine. And these butterflies still haven't all gotten glued down on the page yet because it's all very sticky still. But oh my goodness, you guys, I really think this one turned out very pretty. You guys, I hope you're following along with me. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.